Hey Knights! So I'm doing my very first collab video with Miss Madam Dazzle, which um, would be awesome if you guys go check out her page and I'll put her link at the very, in the uh, descriptions. So yeah, I'm going to actually let her share her experiences first since um, we both have some paranormal experiences. Well, hers is her family, but still. So I'm going to let her go first and then I will share mine. Hi everyone, I'm Madame Dazzle, and I'm here to share um, a paranormal experience um, that my family had. I never had a paranormal experience, uh, sadly, but I'm going to share with you um, some paranormal experiences that my family told me. So um, I have like three or two. Um, I have one with my uncle, my mom, and my aunt. So um, let's begin with the first one. The f okay, my uncle used to live with his sister in a tiny house, and they live in this like village or neighborhood. And my uncle one night woke up around at twelve or midnight, and he looked he looked out his window and. He, okay, this view of his window has like a bridge and a lake, a tiny lake. Shut up. And, and he could see on the bridge a woman passing by. And the woman had like long black hair and a really long white dress that was dirty. It was actually really dirty. That's what he told me. And he went back to sleep because he thought maybe it was, I don't know, a woman that was walking by or was coming back from activity or whatever. And after that, like two weeks passed or one week, and news were spreading up around that village saying that there will be a woman at 12, exact, at that exact time, at 12, passing by the bridge always crying or I don't know just complaining and stuff the people never actually had this courage to talk to her because they were pretty freaked out and one man decided to like go check her out and he said he concluded that her face was actually <coughs> shut up dumb dog okay so my mom used to sleep with all her sisters in a room and her brother used to sleep in another spare room and so whenever they before they go to sleep they always concluded that the doors used to be closed and everything was closed the windows the closet the drawers everything was closed everything was organized everything was just ready to go to bed and when they woke up everything was just a mess the door was open the window was open the closet was open the drawer every, every the clothes were just out of order and everything was just not good and they were obviously freaked out but then after a month they just got used to it because it was actually their house they they just got used to it and my mom told me that her sister my aunt um is those kind of persons that can see dead people and can hear voices and stuff kind of like schizophrenia whatever so um, my mom told me that one my, one night she woke up by her sister's screams and when they walked up to her she told them that she saw a shadow coming out of the shadow um, what coming out of the shadow coming out of the closet they saw she saw a shadow coming out of the closet and I don't know and my mom and the rest of her sister decided to check it out but there was nothing there my mom told me that once she saw a gnome walking by in tiny silhouettes walking on the f on the floor and walking around the room, but nothing serious happened. No, nothing dangerous. Nothing aggressive happened, and they they just got used to it. And by the time it just stopped, everything stopped, and everything was back to normal and just stopped. Okay, so the third one is um about my aunt. This is actually a shorter one. My aunt um used to live with her sister and she um they decided to one day buy the Ouija board and they bought the Ouija board and they played it in my aunt's room and my aunt asked the spirit or whatever who's what's the name of her future husband and when it was going directly to the E 
they had to stop because someone was coming over to the room and I got a little bit freaked out because my aunt's husband, my uncle, starts with an E and I got a little bit freaked out and just, you know, they put it away and put it away in the closet and after that things were starting to get a little bit strange like if you put something in there it would appear somewhere else or it would have just disappear like and some things move and some things disappear and everything was starting to get a little bit freaky and weird so um my sisters came to the conclusion that um it was the Ouija board so one day they decided to um talk again to the spirit to say goodbye because the last time they didn't say goodbye and they forgot that if you didn't say goodbye it was gonna haunt you or whatever and so one day um they they were in the porch and they were playing the Ouija board and when they say goodbye when they finally say goodbye a big butterfly like this big a big black butterfly flew around them and they got freaked out so they threw the Ouija board away and ran to their house Oh, I forgot to tell you, before they actually said goodbye to the Ouija board, um, the day after, no, wait, the day before, they, they burned the Ouija board, and they saw, and they saw how it was all in ashes and everything, and, like, the Ouija board, when they burned it, they went back to room, and the Ouija board was in, on the bed, like, new, like, as if you just bought it, it was, I don't know, it freaked me out a little bit. And that's all, but uh, I don't know. I just want those things to happen. I don't know why, but I want to like experience that. I've never experienced that before, and I don't know. It sounds a little bit freaky, but I've never experienced it. I don't know why, and I just want to try it out to see if I actually get scared. I don't know. I'm so weird, but um, bye. It wasn't that scary. Um, I think it's pretty cool that um, her family had all those really cool experiences. Um, so for my experience, uh, I actually got two, um, the beginning of my middle school year, um, in my brother's room, we had just finished painting it and everything, um, he had an orb in his room because I was taking a picture, and the really sucky part is that I lost the photo, which really upsets me because that was my first, like, evidence that we of paranormal and what really kind of sparked my interest in the paranormal so yeah that kind of started that um i don't know how many of you guys have heard of the stanley hotel um it was a it's a hotel here in colorado that um inspired the movie the shining from stephen king um there's actually a lot of lot of stories that are on just just from that hotel, um, but mine actually has to relate to one of the stories. So on the second floor, there's this room which is called the L room, which has now been split into two, in like into two separate rooms. Um, way back when it was like just kind of starting. Um, and when Stanley Ho when when Stan the owner Mr. Stanley was still alive, um, there was this explosion. Now what happened was um, one of the maids had went to go light like a furnace or a lantern or something like that, and forgot to um, basically forgot her matches. So she left it after turning it on to go grab her matches and then she came back and there's this really big explosion where she was thrown through the floor and into the dining room which is directly underneath those rooms. Now the miracle out of that was that she survived which is crazy um, but also really really um, very much a miracle on that part. And after she got out of the hospital, she went straight back to work at this hotel. And the rumor has it that her spirit still works there. Um, people have reported their belongings have been taken out of their suitcases and put away when they weren't in the first place. 
So my experience with this story um, in this particular maid, um, I was in a historical tour. It was part of a Christmas present from a friend. And we were staying literally maybe two, three rooms away from the L room. And during our inter um, our interview, <laughs> our tour, I, we were on the second floor and we were talking. Well, the tour guide was talking about that particular story. And I'm in the middle of this really kind of medium-sized group, maybe like 10, 15 people. And... I'm standing there in the middle, and as the tour guide was talking about her story and the rumors that um, correspond with this maid, um, I was thinking how sorry I was for her and how she didn't deserve that and how she was very, very lucky to have survived such a blast and such an explosion. And like I said, I'm in the middle of maybe 10 15 people, 20 max, and the next thing I know is I have this really, really strong smell of some sort of, like, gas or oil smell or just something that you would use to help a fire. It just, it hit me full blast. It, the crazy thing about that is, like I, like I keep saying, I'm in the middle of these people and I'm the only one out of the whole group that actually smelt that. So that was actually a very powerful moment for me. Um, yeah, I, I've, that's actually probably the strongest um, thing that I've had at paranormal was. Yeah. So, yeah. Um... I hope you guys liked this video, and please go check out Madam Dazzle's um, channel. That would be awesome. Peace out, knights.